Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of TrackCast. I'm your host, Rich Hansen. Today I have another PBA champion with me, PBA star, Matt Sanders. Weather's a little choppy out here, it's yeah, getting windy. It's, uh, it's getting pretty rough. Yeah, I came to Indiana thinking I was gonna have some nice weather, but evidently that's not in the uh, forecast today. But we're here today to show you a brand new ball, the Track Kinetic Obsidian. I'm excited for it. Yep, Obsidian, it's a black color. Everyone lo loves black bowling balls, it's kinetic. I don't think we can do wrong with this one. So we're here today inside Mike Albee's Arrowhead Bowl. I think it's about time we head inside before we get blown away. I think so. All right, let's, goes out. Yeah, let's head in. All right, so now we're out here on the lanes with Matt. We just got both kinetic obsidians drilled up. Uh, we drilled that one pin up, one pin down. You've been bowling with them for a little bit, Matt. What's your early observation? What are you seeing out of the, the two layouts? Uh, the pin-up's definitely going to flare a little more, so I can probably get in a little bit, get mm -hmm. around a little more. Pin down's a lot smoother. I think I can probably throw it in front of me. Maybe throw it even earlier if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. If I don't want to give away the pocket or anything, I can probably go to the pin down. Kinetic obsidian, so that's uh, that's what we're looking at right now. Okay, um, so why don't you go ahead and throw them a little bit. Let's start with this pin-up. We'll show the fans at home what, uh, what this kinetic obsidian can do. All right. That was pretty good. Yeah, that one looked pretty good. That was really, really clean, very strong down lane. And this obsidian, we, we wanted to fill the gap between the ruby from a couple years ago and the amethyst that just came out. You know, the amethyst is really good for when the lanes are medium. You guys want something clean, very angular. The ruby was really good for controlling the front part of the lane, really good in the fresh. Um, fresh back ends, fresh heads. This is really that ball that fits right perfectly in between those two. Definitely. I mean, there were some times where the ruby just kind of picked up a little too early. So yeah. this, this is kind of a ball down from that. Uh, the amethyst will probably be, I mean, if they're really burnt up, you can probably get around a little more. So this is kind of the middle yeah. ground, really. Yeah, this one's be a lot, a lot more versatile version of a kinetic. You can use it more on the oil. You can chase the pattern in um, and keep chasing it going, going for you, going right. Um, go ahead and throw a couple more shots with that. Let's see what more we can see out of it. That pinup really allows you to get right and, and just wheel that ball left and just know that it's got all its energy, all that flair. It's going to really come back and keep going through the pins nice. Definitely. Like I said, it's a black ball. It feels like watching a black ball. I've never seen one roll bad. <laughs> Oh, all right, so we, we see you're having to play a really big angle through the front because how much how strong that ball is off the break point because that pin up. Let's see how we can smooth the reaction out with that pin down. All right, do you want me to stay in the same spot? Or you no, let's just try the first one there and see what same it does. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. A little smoother. Yep. Not as much off the spot. Yeah, definitely when it, hit, when it sees it, it wants to be... It's not massively different in this bowling ball because it's you see a bigger difference maybe in a pearl, a polished bowling ball. The sanded ball is always going to blend it out a little bit anyway, comparative. But that pin down definitely is rounder off the break point, blends out the pattern. Still strong, still continuous. I think that one's going to allow you to chase it as that lane transitions. You're going to be able to keep chasing that ball more. Yeah, it should, um, probably shouldn't get too, too far offline compared yeah, to the other one. Yeah. It's going to flare a little less. Right, you'll be able to keep it, but it'll be, I say, when it does move, it's just round and smooth and continuous. Go ahead and throw it again for us real quick. So we talked about the pin up versus pin down. Uh, the pin up's a lot more flare, the pin down's less flare. Um, so you have a good separation in the lane. You're playing much deeper with the pin up. You're playing more closer to the friction with the pin down. Um, let's talk about a comparison like to some other products in, in the uh, track brand. One I can see a, a close comparison to would be the Triton Elite. Triton Elite is, is, is QR7, so that's quick response. It's symmetrical. This one's DR7, delayed response, asymmetrical. I really see that Triton Elite being smoother, rounder, more predictable. For sure. I, I think with this ball, if you want something just a little more down lane, this, this would be the ball to go to. Yeah. Like you said, the DR7 is a little more delayed. And like we said, it's asymmetric, so it's going to flip a little harder down lane. Yeah. So this is something compared to a Triton Elite. 
just a touch bigger than that. Yeah, now, and, and, and it's a really good comparison if you had the two is to get out of a ball and go into a ball, it's a really good segue. They bounce, they play off each other very, very well. Your overall hook potential is probably very similar. It's just shape off the spot and how they continue down lane. You know, some other products compared to um, something like a, even like a Paradox Red, this is gonna be a great step down from Paradox Red because the Paradox Red is, is a high asymmetry and it's got our new cover stock on the, the, the Prime um, ET. So that's a much more aggressive cover. This being a little bit older of a cover stock, being a little bit milder asymmetric, that's gonna be a good step the other direction when you want something not as aggressive and, and not as much hook and oil. You see that playing that way for yourself? Definitely, I mean, I, I love the Paradox Black and the Paradox originally. So we now we had the Red Paradox, which that line is known to be really, really good. But sometimes, like I said, if I want to start left, being a left-hander, it can read the mid lane almost too much at times. Right. So we can ball down to this and it will be the perfect resolution. Yeah, and that's another one, like I say, this one be a little less flare potential. Real, really, you can see this being one of the first balls out of your bag, like you talked about earlier, because it is that little more predictable, a little bit more, especially the pin down where you can play closer to the friction and there's so many balls to ball up to, to when you want to move deeper in the oil. Um, and then I'll say you can go to a Paradox Red or you can go to that, you know, pin up. All right, so there you have it, the brand new Kinetic Obsidian. I want to thank Matt for hanging out with me today, throwing the balls for you, comparing them. Gave us a really good look of how this ball is on the lanes, pin up versus pin down, and, and give some good comparisons to other products that are in our product line. So if you're looking for a new brand new ball in the Kinetic line, it's the Kinetic Obsidian. Like I say, once again, it's a little bit going to be a little bit cleaner than the Ruby, but a little bit stronger over the Amethyst. Fits right in between those two. Once again, if you want to find out more information about these balls, make sure you visit trackbowling.com. And as always, make sure you like the Facebook page so you can see more content, more track casts, and also follow the YouTube channel so you can get all the latest information on track products.